Hello everyone, today we're gonna be looking at two different iPhones, the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 4S. The difference between them is quite significant and not so huge at the same time. iPhone 4S were officially presented by Apple in October of 2011. This is the last phone that were inspired by Steve Jobs. This phone is so old now that it can be considered as a vintage iPhone 4S comes from the era of dinosaurs, when smartphones were small and funny, when every year they were able to do a revolution, to show us a really new device. iPhone 10 were officially launched in November of 2017. This phone introduced a new design code for Apple for the next decade. This phone introduced a new design code for Apple for the next decade as they have a habit to sell us almost the same phone every year. Anyway, this phone is still supported by Apple and I'm using it as my daily driver in 2021. And it's still okay for me, I don't see any reason to buy a new one. Let's compare in this video these two different iPhones. I'm very curious about what iPhone 4S is still capable of doing in 2021. Is it a usable phone or just a vintage toy that were finally killed by iOS 7. Let's check it out. Here you have some technical info. iPhone 4S, 3.5 inch display, 8 megapixel camera, Apple A5 processor, 8 gigabyte of storage, 512 megabytes of memory and 3G connectivity. iPhone 10, 5.8 inch OLED display, 12 megapixel dual camera, Apple A11 Bionic processor, 256 gigabyte of storage, 3 gigabyte of memory, and 4G connectivity. So let's look closer on these two models. The design of iPhone 4S is more squarish. Obviously, it's a smaller phone. As you can see, it still uses this old home button. On the back, it's glass and this tiny camera. On the top button it's just a power button and 3.5 jack input for your headphones. At the bottom of the phone we have this old 30 pin connector and speakers. It has aluminum frame and overall it looks nice in my opinion. These phones have different and similar design solutions. The iPhone 10 were obviously inspired by iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S look. The iPhone 10 has glass back as well. It has stainless steel frame and really big display without home button. The iPhone X has dual camera system and it's much bigger and bulkier. And it's a bigger phone. I would say that these phones have some similar DNA. Let's power it on and see who starts first and what's the difference in boot time. I give a few seconds more to our old boy iPhone 4S. As expected, iPhone 10 finished first. The difference is about 10 seconds. I thought it will be a lot more. Hmm, interesting. Let's unlock it and go into deeper tests. Guys, could you believe that the iPhone 4S is 10 years old now? And the gap between these two phones is 6 years. A lot of things has changed. The one thing that is still the same is that both phones were great phones back in the day. An iPhone 10 is still supported by the latest iOS and probably still be supported for a couple of years and the latest update for the iPhone 4S is iOS 9. In this video iPhone 10 is running iOS 14 and iPhone 4S is running iOS 7. Seven years gap in iOS development. In my opinion, iPhone 4S is one of the most beautiful phones in the history. And the iPhone X is okay as well, 
but I prefer iPhone 4 as design. So let's run a few apps and see the difference. I expect that the iPhone 10 will be quicker. What's interesting is that the iPhone 4s is still pretty damn fast in basic apps. It's still usable, it could be a great phone for a kid or for a very poor person, because now you can get it like for 20 years I guess. And it's, it's in a good shape, it can be used as a secondary phone. I have a small collection of iPhones and this one is a part of it. And by the way, I have another iPhone 4s running iOS 9, so the latest firmware. And trust me, this phone is dead, literally. From what I can see, the difference is not so significant. I mean, it's just a few seconds. I thought that it will be much bigger. What can I say about these two phones? Time flies very fast and the iPhone 4s become a little bit old. It still runs standard apps pretty well and overall user experience is not tragic at all. As you can see, the older iOS it runs, the faster it will be. The most interesting part of this comparison are cameras. All in all, 6 or almost 7 years, it's a big gap for cameras technologies. Let's take the same picture with both phones. From what I can see, the iPhone 10 camera is much better. The difference is very visible. You got all the details and colors are very accurate. On the iPhone 4s, it's a little bit weak. If you want to take a picture with iPhone 4s in 2021, it's not the best idea. But anyway, the camera is still usable and if you just need a phone for simple pictures, you can still do that with this old buddy. Actually, it would be nice if everyone will start using their old devices like in old good times. It would be funny to see how technologies are getting older and how different models are passing through the years. Some of them are still great and some of them are just a disaster. Let's get back to our iPhones. I think the real difference is 3G and 4G connectivity. You can see the difference in maps. iPhone 10 loads really fast and iPhone 4s need some time to download textures. But once the download process completed, the iPhone 4s is still running great. Just look at that. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. And yes, iPhone 10 is rendering faster, but the difference is not that huge. You can see all the details on this small screen as well. No problem. I mean, the picture is better on the iPhone 10, but it's mostly thanks to its OLED display and not the processor. And what's funny that I'm getting some weird bugs on the newer phone. Let's do browser speed test and we will go to apple.com. iPhone 10 is much better and its bigger screen is optimized for that kind of activities. iPhone 4s really sucks, even on Apple's website, it's not very optimized. You will get this problem with older phones. Web pages become very heavy and in general, old phones are not very good in web browsing. My final word and conclusion of this comparison. Both phones are great devices. Both marked big milestone not only in Apple's history but in our global smartphone game. iPhone 4s introduced Siri, really high-end design for its time and pretty damn good processor. iPhone 10 introduced Face ID, it's the first iPhone without the home button and it's the first edge-to-edge -edge screen iPhone. He gave the inspiration for the next decade of future iPhones. Newer models are very similar and frankly it's the same phone. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, I hope you liked this small throwback into the history. Subscribe and give a like to this video. If you want to see other model comparison, please comment this video. Thanks again, bye bye.